this is leftist ASMR and yesterday was the presidential inauguration of Joseph Biden and now President Joseph Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris and if you are not new to my channel if you're a subscriber you probably realize that I was not super super excited to see either of them get inaugurated but I was really happy to see Donald Trump leave said I was not super excited about Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or the prospect of them having lots of power. One thing that did make me happy yesterday during all of the pomp and circumstance, pomp and circumstance, was the Bernie Sanders meme of him sitting down um, looking unbothered and unhappy to be there, of him just like alone socially distanced with his mittens. So, that made me really happy to see and definitely got me through the day scrolling through Twitter looking at all those memes of Bernie Sanders just being put in all sorts of different scenarios and if you didn't see the picture that I'm talking about I'll put it right here it's just a picture of Bernie Sanders sitting there just not happy um, looking kind of grumpy looking like he doesn't really want to be there uh, and a lot of people thought it was pretty funny and so did I so internet went wild for it and made about 5,000 memes of him in different places making doing that same position so I thought because that really got me through the day some of you either who haven't seen the meme or people who did see the meme but thought it was funny and want to see it again I would do a video just going through some of my favorites and um, just writing them on a scale of 1 to 15 5 points for creativity, five points for Photoshop job, and then five points for um, humor, if I thought it was funny. And I'm going to try to be as not biased as possible or as unbiased as possible for each of these. So if you want to get some dingles and you want to see some funny Bernie Sanders content, keep watching. And also please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, um, so please subscribe. Alright, so the first meme is a picture of Bernie Sanders, and it's an allude to the, that meme where the man is sitting in the park, and it says, um, change my mind, it'll say, well, it's like a poster, and it'll write like, uh, um, pineapple belongs on pizza, change my mind, and then it's just like a funny meme. So this person photoshopped Bernie Sanders as that man, and, it, and the poster says, Medicare for all, and it says, change my mind. So... Right off the bat, I'm like, is this that funny? No, but is it relevant? Yes. I think it is creative because it incorporated two different memes into one meme. So for creativity, I'm going to give this one a three. For Photoshop, I mean, it's a pretty good Photoshop. I'll give it a four. And then for humor, I'll give this one a one because I did not laugh. No chuckles for me. So that is a three plus four plus one, which equals... So we have the next meme here, and it's a picture of Bernie Sanders photoshopped into One Direction. Um, so if any of you like One Direction, you'll probably like this meme. I'm not the biggest One Direction fan, actually don't really like their music, but I'm not a hater. Uh, I don't think this one is super, I don't think the photoshop is super good because Bernie Sanders is kind of out of perspective. He's smaller than the rest of the bandmates and it doesn't really look like he's sitting on the couch with the rest of them. But it is creative, and I think it is funny. So for creativity, I'm going to give this one a 3. For Photoshop, I'm going to give this a 1. And for humor, I'm going to give it a 3. So that is 3 plus 1 plus 3, which equals 7. So we have 1, 8, and 1, 7 so far. Alright, the next meme is a picture of Bernie Sanders. It's just the picture of him. They didn't Photoshop him into anything, but it's from the New York Post. And it says, Bernie Sanders is me when my friends forced me to into an outdoor brunch in January. So this is actually really relatable because I've had friends who've asked 
asked me to do outdoor dinner or outdoor brunch and it's really cold out in New York City and I, I never really want to go um, and I actually have not yet. I'm like, why sit when it's really cold outside and subject myself to possible COVID? Um, I don't know, not really my thing, but um, I understand like it's important to support the restaurants, but I just don't want to sit out in the cold. So I think this one's funny. There's no Photoshop, so it has to have a zero for Photoshop. And then um, it is pretty, it's, it's a little bit creative. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a two. Photoshop, it's a zero. And then for humor, I'm gonna give it a four. So that is two plus zero plus four, which equals six. Okay, the next one is, <laughs> The next one's a picture of Bernie Sanders, and he's photoshopped into um, an Ariana Grande concert. Um, so that's actually pretty funny. I like that. And uh, the Photoshop job isn't like impeccable. Like it doesn't really look like Bernie Sanders is actually at the concert with her on stage, but it is funny. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a four. For a Photoshop job, I'm gonna give it a two. And then humor, I'm gonna give it a four. And so that's a four plus a two plus a four, which equals 10. <laughs> Great. So that's the highest so far. And the next meme we have here, again, he's not Photoshopped in this one, so it has to get an automatic zero for Photoshop. And it says, this could have been an email. All right, this one's funny because if any of you work jobs where you get lots of e um, emails and you have lots of meetings it's so annoying when you have like a one hour meeting and then you're in the meeting and the whole time you're thinking like why am i sitting here this could have just been an email um this is a waste of my time so i think it's funny and relatable and creative so for creativity i'm going to give this one a three for photoshop i'm going to give this one a zero because there is no photoshop and then humor i think it's pretty funny because i can really do it so i'm gonna give it a four so that's three plus zero plus four which equals seven all right the next meme we have here is definitely a favorite of mine so i'm going to be a little bit biased it is a picture of bernie sanders photoshopped into um, the cast of sex and the city I'm a huge Sex and the City fan. A large portion of my childhood, middle school, high school, college, like, was spent watching Sex and the City. And I think this meme is particularly funny because it photoshopped Bernie Sanders into a picture of Miranda, Charlotte, and Gary, and Samantha isn't there. And if any of you are big fans of the show, you know that Samantha isn't gonna be there for the reboot. Um, so I think this is really creative because it's like replacing Samantha or Kim Cattrall, the actress, with Bernie Sanders. So I think it's creative. So I'm going to give it a five for creativity. For Photoshop, um, if I'm being honest, the Photoshop job is not that good. So it's going to get a one for Photoshop. Can't be too biased. And then for humor, I'm going to give this a five because I think it's funny to see Bernie Sanders photoshopped into the cast of Sex and the City. So this one's going to be 5 plus 1 plus 5, which equals 11. 11, 11, 11, which is the highest so far. The next meme we have here is a picture of Bernie Sanders. It's not the same one of him sitting down. Um, it's the one of him like holding the envelopes. Uh, and there were, were a few memes of this one as well that I saw on Twitter. But this one says, Bernie, <laughs> Bernie is dressed like this inauguration is on his to-do list today, but ain't the whole day. Um, so I think that's pretty funny because it's like saying Bernie Sanders, like he's going to show up because he has to, but it's not the most important thing he's going to do today. Like doing the mail is more important to him than seeing Joe Biden get inaugurated. Uh, so for creativity, I think it's pretty creative. I'm going to give this one a three. There's no Photoshop, so it has to get a zero for Photoshop. Staying consistent. And then I think it's funny, so I'm gonna give it a four for humor. So that's three plus zero plus four, which equals seven. Seven, seven, seven. All right. This next one, I actually laughed out loud when I first saw it. Um, 
um, it's the same picture of Bernie Sanders, but it says, Bernie brought something for Gaga to autograph, our little monster. I think this is funny, because I just think, first of all, I'm a big fan of Lady Gaga, and secondly, I think the term little monster is, like, the gayest, funniest thing. Um, so, this one, I'm definitely a fan of. In terms of creativity, I think it's creative. I like the use of emoji, so I'm going to give it a four. There's no Photoshop, so I have to give it a zero, even though I really like this one. And then for humor, uh, I'm going to give this one a five because I laughed when I first saw it. So that's four plus zero plus five, which equals a nine. Okay, next one is this one, the Photoshop. I'm actually very impressed. I'm very impressed, I must say. So, it's a picture of Bernie Sanders photoshopped as uh, as if he's playing a drum set. Um, and it's pretty creative, I have to say. I think the photoshop is good because you can like see his hands. Like it's like as if they're holding the drumsticks. Uh, and I think it is funny. I'm not like laughing out loud, rolling on the floor, LMFAO laughing, but it is funny. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a four. For photoshop, I'm gonna give it a five. humor, I'm going to give it a 2 because it's not that funny. So that's 4 plus 5 plus 2, and that equals 11. Alright, the next meme we have here is Bernie Sanders riding the New York subway. I think this one's pretty incredible. It's like genius. Like, if you live in New York, you know the feeling, the emotion in Bernie Sanders' face is the exact emotion you have when riding the subway. Like, that is me riding the subway. Um, so, I think this one's good. For creativity, I'm going to give it a 4. For Photoshop, I think the Photoshop's pretty good. I'm going to give it another 4. And then for humor, I think it's pretty funny. Um, I would make this the background on my cell phone, maybe. I'm going to give it another 4. So that's 4 plus 4 plus 4, and that equals 12. 12, 12, 12, which is the highest so far. Congrats to whoever made this meme. Okay, to continue, the next meme here is, I don't know how many of you watched the vice presidential debate between Kamala Harris and Mike Pence when the little fly landed on Mike Pence's forehead and it gave everyone life for at least three days afterward on Twitter. Uh, but they had photoshopped Bernie Sanders as the fly in that picture. So I think that's actually pretty funny. The Photoshop job is nothing to write home about, um, but it is funny and I think it is creative for incorporating two memes in one. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a five. For Photoshop, I'm gonna give this one a one. And then for humor, it is funny. I'm not like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen, but I, it's a chuckle, it's an LOL, it's a ha ha. So I'm gonna give it a, a two. So this one is gonna be five plus one plus two, which equals eight. All right, next meme here is pretty creative. I must say the Photoshop is top tier. It's a picture of Bernie Sanders photoshopped into the Lincoln Memorial as Abraham Lincoln. I would definitely argue that Bernie Sanders deserves a memorial more so than Abraham Lincoln um, because Bernie Sanders never owned slaves, first of all. Secondly, um, I just agree with him more. So I think this the Photoshop job is really good because the lighting works like Bernie Sanders' face is lit up the same way that Abraham Lincoln's would have been. And also it's pretty funny and it also it's pretty creative. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a four. I'm gonna give it a four. For Photoshop, I'm gonna give it a five. And for humor, I'm gonna give this one a three because it's funny. So that's gonna be four plus five plus three, which equals 12. So that's our second 12. Okay, next one, I'm definitely biased again because I love the show. It's a picture of Bernie Sanders photoshopped into the opening credits scene of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which if you are born between the ages 1990 and 2000, you almost surely watched Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on, on Nick at Night if you were someone who had cable. It's 
what I watch like every single night before going to bed, so I am biased. I think it is creative. I think it has references to pop culture. So I'm gonna give this, for creativity, I'm gonna give this a five. For Photoshop, they did a pretty good job. It's like him sitting there in that, that throne chair. So I'm gonna give it a four for Photoshop. And then for humor, I think it's funny, so it's gonna get another four. So for the Bernie Sanders as a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, it's gonna be a five, four, and another four, which equals 13. So that's the highest so far is 13, is Bernie Sanders as the Fresh Prince. All right, next meme we have here is Bernie Sanders. Wow, this one's a tearjerker. It's Bernie Sanders photoshopped into the Oval Office as the President of the United States, as we all know that he right bully should be. So it's pretty sad to see, but it's it's creative. Um, it's more sad than funny. So for creativity, I'm gonna give it a three. Um, for Photoshop, I think they did a pretty good job, so I'm gonna give it another three. For humor, it's not funny, more so sad, so I'm gonna give it a one. Uh, so that is gonna be three plus three plus one, which equals seven. All right, next one I'm not a fan of. It's a Game of Thrones meme. At least I think it is. I never watched Game of Thrones. Um, so I'm gonna be biased against this one in terms of its humor. I think the Photoshop job is actually really good though, which is why I included it in the contest. So for creativity, I think it is creative. I cannot lie. So I'm gonna give it a three. Photoshop, I have to give it a five because they would have even photoshopped a blanket over Bernie Sanders because he's in the snow. And then for humor, I'm gonna just give it a, a, a two because I don't, I honestly just don't even know what scene this is. So it's gonna be three for creativity, five for Photoshop, and two for humor. So that's a 10 out of 15. All right, next one is a throwback to when I was in high school, maybe my like sophomore, junior year of high school, um, Gangnam Style music video, I believe that is, and definitely creative because like the way Bernie Sanders is sitting almost looks like he's doing the Gangnam Style dance. I think it's a pretty okay Photoshop, not the best, and I think it's pretty funny. So for creativity, I'm gonna give this one a five. For Photoshop, I'm gonna give it a two. And then for humor, I'm gonna give it a four. So that's a five for creativity, two for Photoshop, and a four for humor, which equals 11. All right, I'm obsessed with this next one. I think it's so funny. It's a picture of Bernie Sanders. I don't know how many of you are from New Jersey or have been to the Jersey Shore or like are from a beach town where they have a boardwalk. But you know those rides that are like a slingshot and they shoot you up in the air and they take a video of you. Um, there's like a bunch of videos of that on the internet of people like passing out because they're so scared. And it's Bernie Sanders photoshopped into one of these rides. So I think that's super creative. I'm gonna give it a five for creativity. The Photoshop job is good. It's not amazing, so it's gonna be a three. The lighting is off. They should have brightened up Bernie Sanders to fit the picture. Humorous, I'm gonna give it a five. I think it's really funny. So that's five plus three plus five, which equals 13. All right, I think 13 is the highest so far. I think it's tied reversed. The next one, is a picture of Bernie Sanders photoshopped into a scene from The Golden Girls. I was never really a big fan of The Golden Girls, but I have seen the show, so I do understand the meme. The Golden Girls actually used to be one of my um, my ex-boyfriend's favorite shows, and that's neither here nor there, but thought I might mention it. For creativity, I think it's creative because The Golden Girls are old and Bernie Sanders is also old, so I'll give it a four for that. Photoshop, they didn't do a really good job, honestly, so that's a do. And then humor, three. So that's four for creativity, two for Photoshop, and three for humor, which equals nine. All right, next one is a picture of Bernie 
Sanders and he's photoshopped into a scene from The Breakfast Club, which was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. I don't know why I liked it so much, um, but he's photoshopped into like the back row when they're in detention. So I think this is pretty creative and I think it's a good photoshop job and I think it is funny. So for creativity, for photoshop, for humor, I'm going to give this one a three. So that's four for creativity, four for photoshop, and three for humor, which equals 11. So there are only three memes left. There are three memes left. The first meme of the last three memes is Bernie Sanders photoshopped as Steve from Blue's Clues. Again, if you were a 90s kid, you have seen Blue's Clues most likely. And if you remember, he has like that big red, big red chair. So it's photoshopped him sitting on the chair, which I actually think is pretty creative because like as far as famous chairs goes, this one's pretty relevant. Um, so for creativity, I'm going to give this one a five. For Photoshop, I'm going to give this one a three. It's not the best Photoshop job, to be honest. And then humor, I'm going to give it a three because it's funny, but it's not like, again, not the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So for creativity, five. Photoshop, three. And humor, three. So that's five plus three plus three. Equals 11. Alright, so there's only two left. We're almost there. I actually, this next one might be my favorite, or one of my favorites. Um, so it's a picture of the a scene from the Netflix movie Bird Box. I don't know how many have seen the movie Bird Box, but it was trending AF on the internet for a while with Sandra Bullock and um, I thought it was a pretty good movie, but they actually photoshopped Bernie Sanders into one of the scenes in the movie where he's like sitting on the boat. So I think that's pretty funny and pretty creative, and it's a good job with Photoshop. So in terms of creativity, I'm going to give this one a five. Photoshop, I'm going to give this one a five. It looks like he's actually on the boat. And then humor, I'm going to give this one a four. So that's a five plus five plus four, which equals a 14, which takes the cake as the best meme so far, in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion, in my humble opinion. All right, and the last meme we have is like, so good, um, is a meme of America's Next Top Model. And again, I'm gonna be biased here because I loved the show America's Next Top Model. My sister and I would binge watch this to no end um, all the time. And they actually photoshopped Bernie Sanders as one of the judges in America's Next Top Model, which is incredible. Um, so I'm going to give this one for creativity. I'm going to give it a five. Impeccable. For Photoshop, it's a good Photoshop, but it's not the best Photoshop. So I'm going to give it a three. And then for humor, I think it's really funny, so I'm going to give it a 5. So that's 5 plus 3 plus 5, which equals 13. So it looks like the winner, Trummel, please. It looks like the winner is the Bird Box meme. Yeah, yeah, Bird Box, woohoo. Uh, okay, so I hope you enjoyed looking memes with me and I hope you agree with my ranking. Please comment down below which Bernie Sanders meme you thought was the funniest or the best out of all the ones I just mentioned. Um, comment your favorites. Feel free to comment links to the ones that you like the best because um, I would love to take a look. And um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I post videos at least once a week, most times more often than that. So I would really appreciate you joining my channel and being part of my leftist community, my leftist ASR community. Have a great day. I hope that if you're watching this during the daytime, you're able to relax. And I hope if you're watching at night, I hope you're able to fall asleep.